Hello and welcome everyone to a very hot game that's just been played between myself and Baby Ants. I had a rating of 1709 while playing that game and my opponent Baby Ants had a rating of 1763. So I was I played with white and he played with black. So I've started with e4. He played the Sicilian defense c5, knight f3, knight c6, d4, c takes d4. Uh, knight takes d4 and then he played this move. It actually a uh, novelty for me I've never faced this move before but internationally it has been played in top levels like in between two uh, previous world champions Vishwanathan Anand and Vladimir Kramnik had also played that move, but I actually didn't uh, know this move so <coughs> the, pro the best move would be this one. They played uh, knight to b3, but I've played uh, c3 instead to protect this, but it was uh, probably not a that good move, I'd say. Uh, and then he played a common move, which is uh, knight f6 here to attack this pawn here. I played uh, knight to d2, which is basically a mistake. Uh, I should have been played uh, bishop to d3, but I didn't play that. I don't know why, that's because... Uh, yeah, I didn't play that, that's because my rating is 709. Okay. So he took it, that's because now, as the queen is no longer protecting the e d4 square, now it's very easy for him to win a pawn here. So I played that, he took, I just defended this uh, king from getting checked, that's because I'm, I, I was quite sure that the king, or queen is going to take this pawn eventually after I take this pawn. I mean, I take this knight with my knight back, so it will be a check, and I didn't want that, so yeah, I just played this move to protect my king from getting a check. So he went according to his plan, me too, he took a very standard player, as he didn't exchange the queens, I, I, I didn't like the game if he would exchange the queen at that point, so I liked his move, and he also attacked this pawn as well, so he's actually provoking me, or actually pushing me to castle this time, so I've just castled. He played e6, I went there, just uh, using my uh, Queen's, uh, queen's long range to attack the opponent's queen and I've gained a tempo here although I was down two points I mean two pawns okay two points as well it's the same he went there and then I've just played uh, this move blocking the queen from going up to there that's because my idea was to play something like that it's a very silly move that's because the queen has a safe square here here uh, pretty much uh, enough for the queen to survive but uh, anyway, I've played that. Then the bishop came to e7, and then according to my plan, I played this to attack the queen, uh, rook to c1, but it actually didn't go according to the plan. That's because, of course, as you know, that the queen has a safe square to b6, and at the same time, he's attacking this pawn. So I went there. I mean, uh, my bishop to e5. So it actually do, do two purposes at the same time. It saves the pawn as well as it attacks here. So I'm also provoking his king to castle right now. So he did the castling this time. The best move would be bishop takes on h7, but I didn't do it. That's because uh, I didn't found it pretty uh, uh, pretty mouth-watering. That's because after the check, uh, it actually doesn't make any sense. That's because I go there, he'll go back, and then I'm not in a good position. That's because his bishop is here, he can, any, any, I mean, in any moment he can come here and then do stuff that I don't like, so I didn't go for that. Rather, I played this move. I thought that it's a brilliant move, but the engine says that it's a mistake. I don't know why, that's because, yeah, I know I, I don't, why I don't know. That's because I'm a 709 rated player. So my idea was very simple, that if it, if uh, he would take my bishop on d4, then I'd give it a check. After he takes, then I'll take his queen. But uh, he's not stupid as me, so that's why he didn't go for it. Rather, he went there. That was an inaccuracy as well. Uh, so I didn't take uh, any advantage of that inaccuracy. Rather, I made another mistake. I played uh, queen to g4, uh, but then he actually mm, uh, blocked the way of... Uh, uh, Checkmate. He could also play, I believe, uh, 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 bishop to f6 as well, but um, I don't know. 
whether uh, why he didn't play it. Rather, he played the same move. This is a good move as well, no problem with that. And then I went there. I mean, I went to bishop d3 in, uh, in uh, with a plan of coming to h4 to attack the attack the rook on uh, f8. So uh, he played uh, this f5 move, which is actually an inaccuracy as well, as he is actually opening too much places. Uh, in front of his king, so his king is actually not that safe anymore. So I played queen to h3. Probably better would be playing something like uh, queen all the way up to a4, but I, I but I didn't play that. I played this simple queen to h3 move, and then he came up with this move, d6, and then I played the h6, which I was waiting for, and then he played. Uh, rook to f7, which is pretty interesting. And then I moved my rook to uh, d1, rook f to d1. That's because uh, it's always actually good to put your rook uh, in the same file of the opponent's queen. So I had some idea like if I can, if I can put my queen here, then I can take this pawn with my bishop, and he can't take with this pawn back. That's because that will be a check. So he has to take with this pawn. And uh, it actually doesn't make any sense, but I thought some somewhat like that. Okay, so uh, my opponent played uh, this uh, blunder, <laughs> and I found this actually. It's it's sometimes it's pretty hard actually to find opponent's blunder and uh, play the best move on that situation. But I found it. It would be bishop to d4, right? Uh, sorry, bishop to c4 and uh, to uh, pin the rook. Uh, in front of the king, so I exactly played that move. Uh, he played this, which is, uh, I mean, he played uh, bishop to g5, which is a blunder as well. That's because it actually did nothing. He, although he attacks my rook, but it actually doesn't matter. That's because it, I mean, I when I take a, a, my opponent's rook in f7 with a check, and then he won't get enough time to check uh, to take my rook here. That's because it comes with a check. So I did that. I took on f7, check, and then he took it. And uh, the, the very diff the very normal move is to take the uh, bishop here on uh, g5. This is what I've done, and then he took it. The best move would be, of course, to give a check here on h7, but I didn't see it. Rather, I've played a horrible blunder, which is rook takes on d6. What? How is this possible? It's actually mate in two. If you take it here, then it's a checkmate, but after I block it, then he'd come here and check again. That's because it's a, it's called a back rank checkmate, and my king can't move anywhere. That's because all the pawns are covering all the possible square to go for my king. But I don't know why he didn't see it. Rather, he wanted to give uh, attack to my queen, and he played... Uh, that f4, which is again a blunder. I mean, this game is like blunder after blunder. It's a pretty cool game, man. Uh, who does that shit? Uh, sorry for the bad word, like whatever. And uh, I took the opportunity. Actually, look, now my queen is attacking on c6. At the same time, my rook is attacking on c6 as well, and it has only one protection, but I'm attacking with two pieces, so I can win this. So, my according to, I, I mean, according to my plan, I went there, I mean, uh, rook to c7 to give a check. I thought he would come here, it actually d didn't matter wherever he goes. My next move would be rook takes on c8 uh, to give a check net on that. I mean, if he moves anywhere, then I would take this, so that would be more disastrous for him, so he actually took it. He, that was the best move, I would say. And the game played according to that, and then he played another blunder, which is g7. I took... That was a mistake, but I didn't see why uh, this is a mistake. I just wanted to capture more pawns here, although it actually doesn't make any sense to capture pawns. That's because the game won't last long now. Uh, so I played that. And after the king moves here, it says that I have a checkmate in nine. So I went to according to the plan. I went according to the plan. The plan is very simple. If I can take this pawn and the position is somewhere like that, then it's checkmate right. Checkmate right away. It's checkmate. That's because the king has nowhere to go. He could move the queen. He could do anything to make a place for the king. But uh, but he played 
this move. It actually also comes with a pretty good idea that if I somehow, somehow, if I'm drunk, if I play something like um, uh, Queen takes this pawn, then he can give a very, very easy checkmate here. But I'm not, I wasn't drunk at that point. So I just gave that beautiful checkmate on that point. So my opening went pretty horrible where I was down two pawns and then when I've ended I was plus six so which was pretty fantastic according to me and uh, I wanted to show you the computer analysis. Here I have made uh, one blunder, three mistakes and one inaccuracies and uh, average centi pawn loss was like 96 which is a pretty high number. My accuracy was only 53%. It's not good at all but I was very happy to give a checkmate like that. Although I've missed a couple of fantastic chances to give checkmates or lost I've lost a couple of uh, forced checkmate sequence, but still, I'm happy that's because uh, it's morning here and uh, I've started my day with a win. So, thank you very much for watching this video. See you later if I win again. Okay, goodbye.